guys and welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to create shadows for elements in canva you know canva recently brought about this new feature where you can create shadows on your photos but you cannot create them on element yet so i'm going to show you a quick trick on how you can create shadow effect for your elements just like this we have right here where my cursor is i am going to show you Okay, let me just lock this up so I can show you clearly. So this effect right here, I am going to show you how I achieve this shadow effect. So we are going to be doing this from the scratch. Let's get started. I want to pick a background to use. So I am going to just use this one. Then the image I want to use, which is this that I've used. I would now remove the background. Of this image. So while we're waiting for that to load up, I am going to go to my elements and click on the element that I want to use. So I'm going to use this element. I'm going to change. I'm going to change the background color, the color of this to white. It's not compulsory you use white. It can be whatever color you want to use. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to change it to white. I want to move this. Now I just want to put in my text. So let me not take most time. I'm just going to click Ctrl D to duplicate the text I have here. And drag it down. So you see it is right here. That is a quick trick I just showed you. So now this is what we're trying to duplicate. You can see this is what shadows does to your, your image. This is why it is great to use shadows. See, with this is just looking so blessed. So I want to flip this. I want to flip it horizontally. Now let's get to it. Let's now add the shadow effect. What you want to do is to make a copy of that page that duplicates the page. Delete all of the things you do not want to be in the shadow. So I am now going to delete this background. So it's not it is going to be white instead of yellow. But our shape is still at the background. I am now going to download as a transparent background. You can only download as a transparent background if you are using the pro account. But you should be able to do this. Another way you can do this if you are not using the pro account is to download as it is like this. Then go to remove the BG to remove the background. So I am going to now download it. Now that it has downloaded, I'm going to delete this. I will now drag it to my uploads colon, just basically uploading it right here. I'm going to do this again. Let us wait for it to upload. Okay, and this is it. So this is it. I am going to now increase the size to fit into what I have up, but it, it should not fit. Remember it's a shadow, so it should not fit like so perfectly. I'm taking the position to back. I will now go to the adjust. That is where my cursor is. I want to reduce the brightness and then increase the blur. So you can see it. This is it. I'm going to increase the blood just a bit. Then you can move it around. So you can have it this way, which is just what I have here. Or you can have it this way, depending on what you are looking to achieve. And that is it for how to create shadows for elements in Canva. To know how to create on images in less than five minutes there is a video up 
which I am going to leave in the description box. You can do this for any element that you want to create a shadow effect for. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment if you have questions. Thank you. See you next week.